Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Palacios, and I'm here to bring another question regarding migraines. Now, today's question is going to be, what are the four stages of a migraine? And that is an excellent question because it is not as straightforward as we'd like it to be. Some people do not have all these stages. And also, if you experience migraines, you might be able to perhaps diagnose it. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the four stages of a migraine. So we'll start with the first, prodrome. Now this stage, now this stage happens between 24 to 48 hours before the actual migraine attack sets in. And these are actual subtle changes in your body that lead and prequel to the migraine attack. What I mean by that. So before your migraine, you could be having changes in your mood. You could be having some kind of neck stiffness, food cravings, something different is going on in your body. And that's actually going to warn you that a migraine may be setting in. And this is why it's important to also keep check of the weather. Because if you're somebody who has migraines, you may be affected by weather changes as well. The second stage now is going to be called the aura stage. Now keep in mind that about only 15% or so of migraine sufferers suffer from this stage. So an aura, this is again, symptoms that happen before your migraine. And in, in this case, these are nervous system changes. So some of the symptoms of aura include flashes of light, little sparks in your vision, sometimes vision changes, sometimes hearing changes. And there are times you could have a numb or tingling face. Sometimes you may have other symptoms too. But these are symptoms that set in right before the migraine attack sets in, which is the third stage, the attack itself. Now, when you have a migraine, the symptom is obviously pain, but you may also have other symptoms such as nausea and discomfort to light and sound, which is what we call photophobia and phonophobia. This stage lasts between four hours all the way up to 72 hours. On average is about 24 hours. And obviously this is the most uncomfortable stage because it's when the actual attack sets in. And then when the attack finally subsides, we're gonna enter the post stage. post is also known as the migraine hangover which means that you're going to go through a stage of either fatigue, like it feels like you were going over and on doing activities for days without any rest, because again, an attack itself has quite a toll on your body. So you could have, you could experience fatigue, but you can also experience euphoria or a sense of extreme happiness. It could be because, again, the migraine is gone. But keep in mind that this post syndrome lasts between 24 to 48 hours after your migraine sets in, which means that you don't want to be doing any form of physical activity that's going to exert or include severe head movements because that can also trigger your migraine again and it could set you back to the stages once again. So you want to be careful with the post -drum. You want to take the appropriate rest and not exert yourself, especially physically with head movements. If you suspect to have a migraine due to the symptoms that I just described, but you have not been officially diagnosed, make sure you go see your general practitioner or neurologist who specializes in migraines so you can get the proper diagnosis 
and the proper medications and treatments for that. So I hope this video was helpful. Now you understand a little bit more about what the stages of a migraine is. And please check out my other videos if you have any more questions regarding this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.